Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. By the grace of God, we'll look at the topic. <coughs> God says, showers of grace season. God says, showers of grace season. Under the series, my showers of grace season is here. Post my humble up. Look at Kephas, text taken from the book of Psalm 102 from verse 13 to 16. But let's pray before we begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the bright in our nostrils. We thank you for an opportunity to see a brand new month. We have come this morning to hear your word. Father, we are speak to us and grant us understanding. You said in the book of Isaiah 29, verse 8, you send a word unto Jacob and light it unto a nation called Israel today. Send a word into my heart that will light me to my word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic this morning God says, showers of great season for us. God says, showers of great season for us. On that series, my season of showers of grace is here. Coast my harmless up. Look at Kephas, text taken book of Psalm 102 from verse 13 to 16. I from verse 13. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. You can put grace there. Thou shall arise and have grace upon Zion for the time to favor her. <clears throat> yea, the said time is come. Verse 14. For thy servant take pleasure in the stones and favor the dust thereof. Psalm, uh, verse 15. So the hidden shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. And the Lord bless his word and grant his understanding in Jesus' name. May the Lord show you his glory even in this month. May God show you his grace even in this month and beyond in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 18 from verse 1 to 14. And the Lord appeared in the plain of Mirah, and Abraham saw him, saw them, and he lifted up his eyes in verse 2, and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them, and he said, Come to my house, eat and drink. Have some water to wash your feet. And Abraham went, fetch a calf, give it to the men to prepare, to his wife to prepare a uh, uh, cake and all that. And in verse 9, and she said unto him, Let me read from verse 8. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them on the did eat. He said unto him, Mary, Sarah, thy wife. And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said in verse 10, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had it, she never believed. And down to verse 11, now Abraham and Sarah were old and went stricken in age and ceased to be after, uh, ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of woman. And in any time, verse 14, is anything too hard for the Lord? At that time I pointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Genesis 21, verse 1 and 3. And the Lord visited Sarah as he have said, and Lord did to Sarah as he has spoken. I pray the word the Lord has spoken concerning you and I, that this month shall be our month of showers of grace, shall come to pass speedily in Jesus' name. Verse 2. For Sarah conceived and be Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God have spoken to him. And in verse 3. And Abraham called the name of his son Isaac. Second Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 and 20. Another word of the Lord that went by. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measure of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Uh, then a Lord on whose the king lent answers the man of God and said, Behold, <laughs> if the Lord will open the windows of heaven, might this thing be? And Elisha said unto him, Thou shalt see it with their eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. And of course, four leprous men in verse 3. Uh, at the entry of the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here? We die. There is hunger. Let's go to the camp of the Assyrians. If they give us food, if they spare our life, fine. If they kill us, we we'll still die. Uh, after all, even if we sit here, we're still going to die. And they proceed uh, to the camp of the Assyrians. When they were coming, the Lord made the Assyrians to hear the mighty host of armies coming for battle, and they ran away. They left everything. And this leper went uh, to the king uh, palace and told what it was. Down to verse 11, and he called the porter and told him the king's house within. Verse 16, and the people went out and spoiled the tent of the Syrians. So a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two measure of barrel for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. I pray God's word concerning you, God's word concerning your family for this month shall not fail, it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Verse 17, and the king, uh, and the king appointed the Lord on whose he leaned answer to be in charge of the food and people traded upon the man and, and he died according to the saying of Elisha. So please, I pray this month we will not take the word of God for granted and the word of God will lift us up in Jesus' name. Topic one more time. God says showers of grace season for us. God says showers of grace season for us uh, on that series. 
myself, my showers of great season is here. Host Mahomes Abu Luke Kefas takes taken from Psalm 102 from verse 13 to 16 with further reading. Uh, Genesis 18, 104, Genesis 21, 103, Second Kings 7, 1 to 20. Please at the leisure time read the scriptures again, and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is God's spoken word is more real than man's physical appearance and will always and definitely come to pass. Because again, God's spoken word is more real than man's physical appearance and will always and definitely come to pass. Think about this. Today we look at the topic God says, Showers of Grace Season for us on that teaching series on my season of showers of uh, my season of grace season. My showers of grace season, I beg your pardon, is here. By introduction, let's understand that any time that God speaks, it is as certain as it has already happened. Nothing under heaven can resist or thwart the spoken word of God from fulfillment. Beloved, God has seen our affliction all through the year 2020. God has seen our tears since the year began, and now he's come down to deliver for us showers of grace in this season. God spoke to Elisha concerning Samaria that food would be surplus within 24 hours, and it happened. Grace made it happen. No farming, no sweating. No rain, yet abundance came. I pray this month, men will see grace working in your life in Jesus' name. Men will see grace at work in your family in the name of Jesus. Men will not see your effort going forward, but they will not deny amazing testimonies, amazing uh, re- reward and testimonies to show in Jesus' name. Second Kings uh, chapter 3, from verse 70 to 20. Look at what God said concerning you and your family. He said, For thus says the Lord, for thus says the Lord, he shall not see the wind, neither shall he see the rain, yet the valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink both ye and your cattle and your beast. And this is but a light thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the Moabite also into your hand. Verse 20. And it came to pass in the morning when the meat offering was offered, that behold, there came water by the way of Edom, and the country was filled with water. Genesis uh, chapter 39 from verse 1. You can read that at your leisure time. Second Kings uh, chapter 7 from verse 1. 20. We read that earlier on how Elijah prophesied. And we saw abundance. Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 to 9. Jesus used the boat of Peter to preach. Afterward, he told Peter, cast your neck uh, for, 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 for a catch. And Peter said, we've told you all night, take nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will lay down my neck. And he did that. And he enclosed great, and he enclosed great multitude of fishes that he could not carry alone. He had to beckon on other business partners and the other ship to come and help him. And both ships were filled up. You will see the miracles. You will see the hand of the Lord in this brand new month of November in Jesus' name. Why is this our season of grace? Why is this our season of grace season? Why our showers of grace season? We saw a point yesterday. Is our showers of grace season because God's program for us? Because it's what God's program for us. Why is it our season of showers of grace? Because God says so. Because God says showers of grace is indeed our season because God says so. This is God declaring his visitation of showers of grace and unending peace for us and for our household all through the season and beyond. Genesis chapter 9, 39 from verse 1 down to 22. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and bought him by an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelite, which had brought him down, Tita. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man in verse 2, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. He made him charge over all his house. And in the next chapter, uh, we saw how he was thrown into prison from the prison in chapter 41 from verse 1 to 57 we saw how he ascended the throne the same joseph he became the second in command in the land of egypt without education without no cv without no background the lord will take you to the top in jesus name second king 7 1 20 we saw the prophecy of elisha uh, that by this time in the city of samaria a barrel will be sold for a shekel <laughs> And uh, one of the economists doubted, and it came to pass. And the man died, according to the saying of Elisha. Say, you see it, but you know the test of it. Uh, Second Kings 3, 17 and 20. Say, you will not see the rain, you will not see effort, but you cannot deny. The valleys will be filled with water. The Lord will do wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Joy chapter 2, uh, from verse 23, 27. Say, be glad, then ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the, the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. 
and the floor shall be full of wheat. That will be your testimony. And the vat shall overflow with one and oil. You have more surplus in your account to spare to others in Jesus' name. As 25 said, and I'll restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the caterpillar, the cancaon, and the caterpillar, and the palm will migrate. I'm to have sent among you. Verse 26 says, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord who had those wondrous with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 27 said, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel this month. People will know that God is with you. In Jesus, they will know that grace is at work in your life. In Jesus' name, Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 9, you can read the account of Peter, how Jesus used his boat after what Jesus asked him to launch into the deep, and he did that. And he enclosed a great multitude of fishes. This point, you will see abundance, you will see wonders in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 15, 11 to 24, and he said, A certain man had two sons, a younger, uh, to, to his father, give me my inheritance, and the father gave him. He went and spent everything on riotous living, and he returned. And the father brought out the biggest of all around. Look at what in verse 21. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. And afterward, he gave him his ring, and he brought the fattest of cow, and they celebrated. This month, he will celebrate in Jesus' name. One more time. Why is this season a season of showers of grace? Very simple, because God said so. God said that showers of grace season is for us. This means that this is God declaring his visitation of showers of grace and unending peace for us and for our household all through this month, all through the season and beyond. You can read Genesis 39, 1 to 22, Genesis 41, 1 to 57, 2 Kings chapter 7, 1 to 20, 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 17 to 20, Joel chapter 2 from verse 23 to 27, Luke 5, 1 to 9, Luke 15, 11 to 24. At a leisure time, you can read all of these passages and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Lastly, life is segregated into seasons, and different seasons carry different fruit and blessings. What a joy! Grace. God said so. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 said to everything there's a time and there's a season. This is your season of showers of grace. This is your season of showers of abundance in Jesus' name. Now, the choice is ours if we really want to see showers of grace or not. If our choice is positive, then our faith must come alive. Our works must be works of truth and righteousness, which is only possible in Christ. So if you want your work to be work of truth and work of righteousness, then you have to be hidden in Christ as such. I charge you and I call you to accept Jesus in truth today, so that God's word of grace showers will be a reality, will be visible in your life in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 6, from verse 6 to 22, you can read that, how uh, Lord God's mercy reached out to Lord, and he was not destroyed with Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, first Samuel chapter 16 from verse 11 to 13 you can read how grace founded David that was in the field and anointed him to become king and in the next chapter he brought down Goliath in the next chapter he became the king of the land of Israel the Lord will take you to the top of the top in Jesus name Psalm 103 17 to 18 said but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them and his righteousness upon the children's children he said in verse 18, to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandment to do them. So it's not enough for us to confess Jesus. We have to repent of our evil ways. When we do that, then salvation will find us. John chapter 10, 7 to 11. Then said Jesus unto them, Verily I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Verse 10 said, The thief cometh not. But for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. Verse 11. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. So Jesus came for you and I. John 15, 3 to 10 said, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As a branch cannot be a fruit of itself, say, Abide in the vine. Ye cannot do anything without me. Say, If ye abide in me, I am abide in you. Ye shall ask what you shall be done unto you. I pray. I pray you keep the commandment of the Lord in the ramification of your life in Jesus' name. Hebrews 2, 1 to 3 said, Therefore we ought to give a more energy to the word which we've heard. Least at any time we should let them sleep. So if the word spoken by the angel were steadfast and every transition and disobedience receive a just recompense of reward, said in verse 3. How shall we escape if neglect so great a salvation? So if you want 
the word of the Lord, the prophecy of God, of showers of grace to come to pass in your life, <clears throat> then you have to accept Jesus in truth and in spirit. Place your hand in your church with this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm for sure of your glory. I know you come to the side for my sake. You died. On the third day, you rose for, you rose for my faith. And right now, Jesus, I confess it to be my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and purify me. Write my name in the book of life and grant me grace to keep your commandment all the days of my life. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We'll take two prayers and we'll shut down first prayer. Father, let your purpose and declaration of showers of grace for this month and this season come to pass in my life swiftly and in my family. Isaiah chapter 43, 18 down to 21 said, Remember you know the former things, neither remember the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. The Lord will do a new thing in our life in Jesus' name. Father, let your purpose and declaration of showers of grace for this new month. This new season for myself and for my family comes swiftly in the name of Jesus. Father, let your purpose and declaration of showers of grace uh, for this month concerning me and my family come swiftly in the name of Jesus. Last prayer, Father, in this new month, release your showers of grace blessings upon the saints across the globe in the name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2, verse 26 uh, down to 27, say, He will do a new thing. He said, I value with fear. I pray this month we shall see the abundance of God in Jesus' name. We shall eat in plenty and, not be sat and we will be satisfied in Jesus' name. Father, in this new month, release your showers of grace blessings <coughs> upon the saints across the globe in the name of Jesus. It's a petition on the behalf of all the children of God out there. We say, Father, in this new month, release your showers of grace blessings upon the saints across the globe. Thank you very strong for in Jesus' name we pray. Join me pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercessory ministry. Uh, God blesses you tomorrow as we continue on this teaching series. God